everybody good morning good morning good morning welcome to session three of vv fest on wednesday the 26th of june this session right i mean i'm a bit biased the other two were very good the presenters very engaging very fun you know <laughs> lots of banter slightly fun conversations as well however we say the best till last right we've been talking on the previous session about some of our destinations we talked on the first session about how we sell well this session we're actually going to do a bit of an expose we're going to be doing a bit of a zooming in. We're going to be focusing on a destination, Puerto Rico. And I don't know, maybe I said that, you know, the R's. I don't know if that, that actually. It was perfect. It was perfect. perfect. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, so, guys, if you haven't done so already, please drop an ahoy in the chat. You know the drill by now. Drop an ahoy in the chat. Let us know you're there. And also say hello to Melissa. Say, you've got to say hola. Or oh, maybe hola. Hola, hola. hello. Any, any of that works. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Put it in the chat there. Of course, that's where you're going to be answering uh, or you're going to be asking all your questions. Don't forget, we've got polls in there as well for you to go ahead and answer. Uh, and yeah, we're going to have a great session with this. And um, uh, she's just disappeared, which is fabulous, uh, which is great. Um, so whilst we wait for Melissa to come back, you guys, you scared her off. <laughs> the excitement's too much. It's all the ahoys. <laughs> Uh, Alison, oh, you, uh, hola, Vanessa. So, not even an ahoy, not even. <laughs> not even. <laughs> Vanessa, God, does that go wrong? It's the wrong name. Alison, it's like, all right, Keith. Oh, that's probably tickled me. <laughs> How are you doing, Keith? Oh, sorry, Melissa. <laughs> <laughs> Good as I got a day from. Oh, my goodness. Fabulous. She will be back soon, hopefully. Otherwise, it wasn't you... Luke getting, a, getting someone's name wrong. <laughs> Otherwise, guys, you're going to be... Um... You're going to be uh, <laughs> listening to two Puerto Rican experts here instead. There she is. Hi. For some reason, I just got disconnected. I thought someone kicked me out. No, no, it wasn't me. I thought okay. you got Hi, everyone. Hi again. I'm back. Hopefully, I'm, I'm going to be staying. Oh, my God. <laughs> Where's she going? What is happening? <laughs> just to clarify everyone um, <laughs> melissa's in london okay so she's not she's not in puerto rico so don't think that they've got very bad cell connection because they've got great <laughs> industry country leading cell connection in puerto rico it's a fantastic destination to visit God. <laughs> she, <laughs> she was back. melissa are you here Yeah, there we go. That's fine. Well, guys, if you've got any questions, okay, based upon the previous sessions, please feel free to uh, to drop them in the chat right now. Um, and also, it is the last chance to enter the competition today, so make sure you're completing the poll questions during the session. Yeah, make sure make sure you complete the polls, which is great. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well that's it you know what julia this is the power of live tv that's right um what we do is we uh we we make uh, we make light of it uh melissa has messaged me saying she got disconnected Can I right just yeah just waiting through there but yeah um Layla, have you ever been to Puerto Rico? I haven't, actually. So I'm really excited to learn a little bit more about the destination today. We've, of course, featured it in um, some of our amazing itineraries. So I'm excited to learn more. Oh, yeah. Well, apparently it is the uh, the birthplace of Ricky Martin. Oh. Living in vida loca. Do you know? So I've got some facts. I know Puerto Rico very well. So number fact one, right? They speak Spanish, right? And but it's a combination of American English and Spanish, so they actually call it Spanglish. Oh, isn't that a song yeah. name as well? Is it? Yeah, I think so. Oh, it... Perfect. And oh. then also, did you know? Okay, the weather in Puerto Rico, right? The temperature varies between seventeen and eighty degrees Fahrenheit throughout the year. 
Wowza. It's quite nice. You know these on the top of your head? Yeah. Uh, Speaking of signal, phone signal, 5G on the island and also 4G as well. And roughly, if I from memory, I think there's a population of about 3.2 million people living uh, in and around Puerto Rico. Uh, There's actually 5 million Puerto Ricans living in the US as well. Did you know that? Wowza. Hi everyone! Can everyone see me now? Oh, this is back. I'm back. I've been listening, Luke. Thank you for all those facts. They are so great. So hopefully now I don't know why I'm doubled on the screen here. That's okay. That's all right. That's- here now. Here now. So yeah, we've lost connection a couple of times. So hopefully this is this is the. The last time. So over to you, Melissa. Tell us a little bit about you, okay? And dive in. Let's go. In fact, actually, we usually play a game. We usually play a okay. game. With you know, okay. So right. So Melissa, tell us. Tell us just a little bit about you, and then we're going to play a little game. Well, so I'm Melissa. I'm from the Discover Puerto Rico team in the UK, and I'm really happy to be here, even if I locked out three times by mistake. Um, I'm still really enjoying my time here so far. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad. Right. So here is here, right. Here's right. So quick fire round. Okay. okay. Quick fire round questions. Right. Caribbean or Med Cruise? Mm. I mean, you, you're gonna say. Yeah. You're gonna is say, there a right or wrong question here? You've got to say Caribbean, haven't you? There we go. Caribbean, 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 yeah. Caribbean. Yeah, fantastic. Great. Great. Great region. Great part of the world. Okay. Right. Next one. Yeah. Balcony or insider cabin? Would you rather be on a balcony or an insider? Balcony. Perfect. Perfect. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Do you, would you rather be relaxing by a pool or exploring the ship? Exploring the ship. Interesting. Okay. I like it. I like it. Uh, and last but not least, Luke or Layla? Ooh, I'm going to have to say both. I'm going to have to say them. <laughs> we'll, let, we'll let you off. We'll let you off. Uh, there you are. Well, there you go. Excellent. So um, over to you, Melissa. Perfect. Thank you so much. So, yeah, it's my pleasure to take everyone in this webinar on a training presentation on Puerto Rico. So before we start, I will play two short videos highlighting Puerto Rico just to give you a feel of the destination because it's not as fun when I just, you know, go through presentation. Yeah. have nearly 300 beaches in Puerto Rico. And each one is a reason to wake early. There's only one tropical rainforest in the U.S. It's right here in Puerto Rico. It's like another world, or as we like to think of it, our backyard. Mm. Oh. Perfect. So let's begin with the geographical location. Puerto Rico is located in the Caribbean, as you know, and it is a U.S. territory. Many clients choose to travel to Puerto Rico via a U.S. coastal city, perhaps having a twin center, um, or they simply just transit through the U.S. They may also choose to um, go on one of the lovely cruises that stop at Puerto Rico, start at Puerto Rico. Um, but yeah. Once they continue on to Puerto Rico, imagine they're traveling from the U.S., they will not have to clear immigration customs as they will be considered domestic passengers from the U.S. So moving on with a bit more information about the island, Puerto Rico is made up of seven different regions and is roughly 100 miles long by 30 miles wide. Um, It has the Atlantic Ocean to the north and the Caribbean Sea to the south. And as you can see on screen, running through the um, centre of the island are the central mountains. Um, 
which run from east to west through 14 different towns. So Puerto Rico is not really big, but there it has a lot of offerings. Um, the island is also no more. It's in a small archipelago with 300 miles of coastline, including the pristine islands of Vieques and Culebras to the east, as well as Mona Island off to on the western coast. It's that small island that doesn't have a name, but that, just so you know, it's Mona Island. Mm, some more facts about the island, which Luke has already mentioned, um, where it is a US territory and has been for over um, 120 years. Uh, the currency is the US dollar and English and Spanish are widely spoken across the island. And they do indeed um, like using the term Spanglish um, that me, my, I myself use as well. Um, I'm Spanish and English, so I do use both of them sometimes. <laughs> What's what's an example of Spanglish? Like, hola? No, it's not hola. It's you will say a, a whole sentence in Spanish and then you just add some words in English. So <laughs> um, it could be anything. It could be anything. You just switch from one language to another in the same in the same sentence. Right. Um, but that doesn't mean, you know, they can't speak fully Spanish or fully English in a sentence. It's just a preference. So it could be like, like, quieres pine chips? Yeah, yeah, that, that's a short, um, but well, a like, good example um, of <laughs> that. Um, but yeah, and then, well, temperatures are ranging between 28 degrees and 32 degrees, um, of course, um, boasting Caribbean temperatures all year round. And the time difference changes during different times of the year, either um, four or five hours behind the UK. Puerto Rico is also known as the rum capital of the world and home to the Piña Colada cocktail, um, as well as for its history, beautiful culture, culinary delight and entertainment. And of course, um, the Puerto Ricanos, who are absolutely amazing people um, are really welcoming. Then the island also features many top rated hotels and resorts. And one thing to note is that hotels in Puerto Rico operate on a room only or bed and breakfast um, basis, which is similar to the US. Um, this allows clients to enjoy the island's amazing dining um, culture. There's over 5,000 restaurants and I will be going a bit more in depth um, on the next couple of slides. So let's head to our first region, which is the metro region. So clients will usually travel onto the re uh, metro region as the first stop in Puerto Rico. This is where the international airport and the cruise port is located. And it's only a 15 minute drive from San Juan. San Juan is the capital, Puerto, um, capital of Puerto Rico, for those who didn't know. Um, and it's also a city with over 500 years of history which offers visitors a beautiful blend of heritage and tradition alongside the contemporary city life. It also boasts amazing food, as I've mentioned, drinks, cocktails, nightlife for those interested, shopping and a beautiful and vibrant culture as well. Moving on to San Juan. Well, in San Juan, visitors will find um, um, a bit of everything. The city blends the co um, colorful cobblestone streets in the old and historic side of the city and a bit more of a modern and urban life in the neighborhood areas. There are many hotels to choose from, from historic to high end and charming, as well as dining opportunities, options, etc. Old San Juan is the si old side um, of the city. So as I mentioned, 500 years of history. And here in Old San Juan, visitors can truly immerse themselves in the cultural heritage of the um, center of the city with visiting landmarks such as El Foro Fortress, cathedrals, museums, and many other iconic attractions. It is also a walled city, which is perfect to explore by walking, um, just along the beautiful streets and admiring the unique architecture. They may also want to embark on um, a food walking tour. This is a really interesting one. It just gives them the opportunity to sample some of Puerto Rico's signature dishes and or traditional dishes while learning about the history of San Juan. Amazing. Other highlights of the metro region include Casa Bacardi. So this is the world's largest premium rum distillery and one of the island's most popular and visited attractions. 
um, you can engage on um, mixology classes, for example, rum toasting, um, and if your clients are interested a bit more in doing a bit of shopping while they're there, they can visit Plaza Las Americas, which is the largest shopping center in the Caribbean. Then Santosa neighborhood, this is the lively art district where visitors can experience the island artistic heartbeat um, and also enjoy the uh, vibrant culture, um, local dining, while also watching music performance and dancing in San Dulce. Puerto Rican are known for celebrating a lot, so they do like to dance salsa, um, bomba, and other traditional dances. The city of California, um, Carolina, sorry, I was going to say California. Carolina is home to popular beaches such as Isla Verde and the Balneario of Carolina. Okay, next let's move to the East Region. So located, um, well, the East Region is also only located an hour's drive from San Juan. Um, this, region, uh, this region offers beautiful Alcam waters, which are perfect for exploring sea wonders um, through water activities such as snorkeling and diving, for example. The East is also home to a Yunque rainforest. So you have seen during um, the short video, a um, couple images um, and videos of this rainforest, which is the only rainforest in the US national forest system. Located in Fajardo, you'll find Laguna Grande, which is one of the three bioluminescent bays on the island. So for those who don't know or might not know, this bays contain um, microorganisms that react to movement by glowing and creating a unique glow in the dark effect. It's just a really beautiful thing to experience. And then the East also offers gastronomic experiences, botanical gardens, museums, art galleries, and much more. But I think other places in the East include Luquillo, which is another seaside town um, known as the capital of, of the sun. It features 12 miles of spectacular coastline, and um, a really popular thing to do is um, visiting the over the collection of over 60 vendors which offer local tasty food. Located here as well, you'll find Carabali, which is a rainforest park with loads of activities, um, perfect for families. You can um, go on a horseback riding tour. Cowas is another beautiful town located in this region. And then going back to El Yunque rainforest. So as I've mentioned, it is the only tropical rainforest in the US um, national forest system. And it's about a 45 minute drive from San Juan because it is a really convenient location. Clients can choose to experience the East by maybe staying um, a few nights if you know they are staying in Puerto Rico for a long time or maybe just um, visiting it as a day trip. Um, and Yunque is a great option for this. Visitors can um, hike trails suitable for all levels, explore hidden and beautiful waterfalls, and observe the unique flora and fauna, such as in the endemic Puerto Rican parrot and other bird species only found in Puerto Rico. Amazing. So continue with Culebra and Vieques, which are the two islands I mentioned um, earlier in the introduction. Um, oh. Perfect. So Culebra and Vieques are considered some of Puerto Rico's best kept secrets. Visitors can access them by a short ferry ride from Fajardo, which is a town located in the east, um, or a short flight from San Juan. Vieques is home to Mosquito Bay, which has been considered to be the brightest bio bay in the world. Um, it's also home to Playa Negra, a beautiful and mesmerizing black beach sand. And guests can visit Vieques as a day trip. There's ferries and flights going into, um, into Vieques every day. Um, and they can also choose to stay at one of the many properties also located in Vieques. Culebra, on the other hand, is home to Flamenco Beach, which has been ranked multiple times to be one of the top beaches of the world. Over 20% of Culebra is preserved as a national wildfire refugee and it is habitat to endangered sea turtles and seabirds. Amazing. Next, we're going to discuss um, the Central Mountains regions. 
Perfect. So the Central Mountains run from the east to the uh, west and it has a history and culture rooted in agriculture. This region has diverse vegetation and produces most of the island's coffee. Puerto Rico is also really well known for its coffee um, and um, visitors can taste um, coffee at different um, farms. Locally, these farms are known as haciendas, so you might hear me mention haciendas, just, just so you know, there's other farms. Um, and the region is also home to Toro Verde National Adventure Park, which features the longest zip line in the Caribbean, as well as other adventure activities. Um, also located here, you'll find Caravali Rainforest Adventure Park, which is our favorite destination, adventure destination in Puerto Rico. Um, it's great for exploring caves and caverns while participating in adventure activities such as rafting. Um, amazing. Some other um, highlights of this region include various towns. Um, such as Ciales, Zutuado, Orocovis, each of them which is with its own beautiful um, charm. Moving on to the south region of Puerto Rico. The south is home to oops, the south is home to another um, of the island's hubs of culture and history, which is full of archi um, colorful architecture, um, historic art, and also stunning natural beauty. This region also offers secluded beaches, which are ideal for outdoor recreation, such as boating experiences or excursions and sightseeing. The South has notable historic and cultural attractions, art galleries, museums, and many haciendas, located within popular coffee plantations um, and tropical fruit farms, known as haciendas. Um, or where visitors can engage in cooking classes, for example, um, and learn how to cook the traditional and famous mofongo dish, which is a, a Puerto Rican favorite dish um, made of mashed plantain. Other highlights of the South include Parque de Bombas, located in Ponce. Ponce is the second, um, second largest city in um, Puerto Rico, right after San Juan. And Parque de Bombas is one of the island's most photographed landmarks. You will also find um, Salina, which is known as the Fruity Mecca in the south, and Carmo, which is known as the City of Thermal Waters. Now let's move to the north region. Okay, so the north is roughly an hour's drive from San Juan. Again, the distance um, between regions um, it's just idyllic and it makes really it makes it really convenient um, and easy to explore other regions um, and hidden hidden wonders um, in Puerto Rico. So the region is known for its impressive landscapes, um, the caverns, beautiful beaches, and many top um, top rated resorts are located in this region as well. Uh, found in Arecibo and Gamuy, which are two towns in the north um, region, is the third largest cavern system in the world. So you can imagine, you know, this, this beautiful landscape um, you can find here. So the diversity of the landscape um, is made even more beautiful um, by the unique rock formations, one of them being Mar Chiquita, which is one of the most popular natural pools on the island. And moving on to the west, which is the last region. Um, so the west is known for its surfing and laid bike vibe, which makes it a perfect hotspot for those activities. It's also where you can enjoy the best sunsets of the island along its, um, its stunning coastline. This doesn't come from me, this comes from the locals. This, this comes from the people in Puerto Rico. Um, and visitors can also explore Cabo Rojo National Wildlife uh, Reserve, which is a subtropical dry rainforest. Um, this is a great place to do hiking or for bird watching, for example. Um, the region is also full of local beach from restaurants serving fresh seafood and Caribbean drinks such as um, Viña Colada. Um, and the West is also home to the third and last Bio Bay on the island. So let's do a bit of a recap. So we said Laguna Grande was located in the east. Um, Mosquito Bay was located in the um, Vieques Island. And located in the west, you find La Paruera. We do recommend visitors to experience the bays um, 
and it's beautiful um, glow at night by booking glass bottom boat you can do this one in any of the bays so you can go to the east you can go to vehicles or you can go to um, the west and you know book a tour amazing so finally a bit more about the culinary and cocktail landscape of puerto rico so as i've mentioned at the beginning um, Puerto Rico it is considered the round capital of um, the Caribbean and it's also the birthplace of the piña colada. It is also a certified culinary destination with bold flavors and evolved techniques that blend tradition, uh, well, traditional and international recipes. You can find different versions of um, iconic dishes like mofongo, which I've mentioned, um, which is a traditional Puerto Rican dish made with mashed plantains um, and that can be paired with fresh seafood and meat all across the island. In Puerto Rico, um, street um, food sampling it is also really well known and it's a popular activity. Um, this activity is known as chinchorreo. So this is where you hop from one kayak to another, grabbing maybe a, a beer or a drink, um, a cocktail, as well as enjoying the sample of fritters like alcapurrias and pastelillos, which are stuffed with your choice of seafood or meat. <clears throat> Puerto Rico is also home to award-winning bars. Um, and another fun fact about Puerto Rico is that um, on, unlike like the US, Puerto Rico's um, legal drinking age is 18. Um, however, some bars and clubs require you to be 21 or older. Um, they also have um, James Beard Foundation nominated chefs, as well as recognized restaurants. And with over 5,000 restaurants and, and many bars, visitors are guaranteed an exciting gastronomic um, experience in every meal. Amazing. So yeah, in summary, this is our Discover Puerto Rico website. Um, you can scan the QR code, which will take you directly to it. It's loaded with information on things to do on the island, more about the regions and recommendations for where to stay. We encourage clients not only to visit San Juan, but also explore the island, um, explore the other regions. You've seen there's many, many things to do, different, different things to explore. Um, and yeah, Puerto Rico just has um, loads of things to offer. Uh, thank you so much. And I will be going through the chat and see if you have any questions that I can answer. We've got a couple of questions. Yes. By the way, that uh, Puerto Rico looks amazing. Really and I think also, I didn't realize the, um, you know, the, the glow in the dark. I'm sure. The yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, there's three of them in Puerto Rico and there's not many of them in the world. And Puerto really? Rico has three. Um, which once again prove the amazing diversity. Nice. And um, what's your what's like your yeah. favorite part? Like, I, I favorite? couldn't I couldn't choose. I feel like um, Santurce neighborhood. Um, I really like. I really feel like that's where you get all all the dancing and a bit of like the dancing side of the culture, which I really enjoy. I love dancing salsa. Um, I, I love dancing. I haven't tried bomba, but I do know how to dance salsa. So I do find that like a really fun experience is they also do classes. Um, and yeah, it is, it is a unique way of getting to know the culture and the people. Exactly. Is that, <laughs> you, it? I don't know if that is it. Maybe. I'm just... um, yeah. You dance it with another partner, but it's a bit, a bit <laughs> faster. No, it's, it's a fun dance. It's like a fun that. Dance. Yeah, I, I often dance on my own, Melissa. So that's the thing. Yeah. It's... <laughs> You need a partner for this, you need a partner, but it's fine. In Puerto Rico, everyone's really social, so you can find a partner. You'll find someone. Easily. Yes, exactly. Later, we've got some questions, right, in the chat. Yes. We do, we do, sorry. Um, so we have Jacqueline asking, how many days do you recommend to stay, pre or post cruise? Oh, um, so that's depending, I feel minimum minimum i would recommend two three nights maybe three nights giving yourself some time to stay in san juan for the first day do some tours over there um experience their culture and then you can move to the east you can actually mix, mix and match any of the regions um i did read in the chat another question about how long would it take to drive around it um so answering that question together um as you can as you can see they're not really far from each other i feel 
I feel like it's an hour, an hour and a half um, maximum drive from one region to another. So I would say the longest it would take you would be from the east to the west. Um, of course, it's 100 miles um, long, but that would be maybe like a two hour drive. That's so good, isn't it? For, eight, it's for people pretty good. Experience so you have areas. Mm -hmm. You have loads of opportunities to actually experience experience the island. And don't get me wrong, San Juan is beautiful, and there's so many so many things to do in San Juan. Um, but it'd be a shame going to Puerto Rico and not exploring um, other other sides of Puerto Rico. Yeah. So Daryl, Daryl and Lisa have asked similar uh, similar questions. Yeah. Is it easy to travel around the island? Would you need to hire a car? So we do recommend hiring a car. Um, the roads are perfect. They're safe. They have US. Um, in infrastructure so it's not like other Caribbean destinations for example I think one thing Puerto Rico stands out it's you know for its safety and amazing um, infrastructures mm, but if you're traveling within the metro region you also have Ubers or taxis but if you are willing to explore the island I would probably rent um, a chauffeur or, um, or a car okay. to do that yeah, and see as much as possible on your own terms then, I suppose. Um, mm. Julia, what is the population of Puerto Rico? How many full-time oh, residents? Good question. I think, um, I think, uh, I'm not really sure. Like, I do have this information somewhere. Luke, did you have this earlier? I have this information because I know he said it. Is it? Yes. What was the question? It was a population. Um, yeah, population. How many full-time residents? Well, there's around 3.2 million people. Yes. <laughs> And also, the over here, we've got the answers to everything. <laughs> if you're interested, there's a fantastic cell connection throughout the island with some areas having 5G. Yes, amazing. <laughs> yeah. And Julia has asked Melissa, Do you have yeah. a favorite rum? Do we have a favorite rum? Oh. We have a favorite rum. So in Puerto Rico, so you have the you have Casa Bacardi, which is internationally known, and then you also have um, local distilleries. Um, so I have been told um, by my well, Puerto Rican friends that um, Don Cu is a really popular over there. Um, I don't know if it's that well known here, and I really don't know if you can actually buy it here. So there are some local distilleries um, only available in Puerto Rico. So I would definitely suggest Don Cu. Um, All the more reason for everybody to taste and find out what's their favorite. Yeah, Go exactly. for everything. <laughs> Exactly. Jeannie's asked, do the bioluminescent only happen on full moon or all the time? So it does have to do with um, the full moon, but I, I think um, Bieke is, is the perfect one um, to explore because it is the brightest one. Um, so even if it's not full, um, full moon, you will have um, the experience of at least seeing um, some, some of this um, beautiful glow happen. Amazing. It does have to do with yeah, it does have to do with the full moon. Yeah, it, it looks incredible. What a sight yeah. to see if you're if you're visiting. And then final question from Michelle. Uh, Melissa, is there dancing in that area every night or just weekends? Michelle wants to get her dancing shoes on. So so I feel like you can there's a bit of everything every night. They do have um a really um li lively um nightlife culture and it doesn't have to be with like heavy clubbing, it's just part of the culture celebrating um and they always have something to celebrate so there's there's a lot of festivals um on the island as well throughout the year which are amazing to experience as well um but if you go to the um, santurce neighborhood you do have a few bars that open until late and dancing is part of the culture so they really love doing that they dance to celebrate a birthday to celebrate some anything you can imagine um, but definitely weekends it's of course um a good time to go out and explore that Amazing. I love that. I'd love to get involved. Have a little dance. Get yeah. out there. <laughs> and then we just had another question actually from Julia. How many visitors come to the island every year? Oh, that's that is a good question, which I would need to um, take my reports out. Um, according to Google. OK, let's <laughs> allegedly, according to Google. Yeah, the stats. Over 5.1 million passengers arrive into Louis Mune Marian International Airport in 2020. Yes, that's that's the um, that's the airport located in San Juan. It has it has a long it has a long name. Yeah. 
Yeah. No, every year we get more um, international passengers, um, which is great because it is a, a beautiful destination to explore. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Any more questions first, mates? Any more questions? And don't forget, guys, to be completing the polls as well, um, which is your last chance to get involved. So complete those yeah. questions. Answer the polls. Good Learned so much information there. That was amazing. 100%. I'm sold. I definitely want to visit now. And if you have any any more information, just feel free to um, contact me. You can check on the website. There's plenty of information in there. And it's a really easy website as well. Everything is ordered in a clear um, and engaging way as well. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Brilliant. Uh, looks at like, Stacy says, thanks, Melissa. What a beautiful island full of exploring culture yeah. and mouth-watering cuisine with pina coladas in hand. Oh. Uh, Julia says, it is predominantly cruise or mixture of both visitors? It's a mixture of both. We do, you do get a lot of cruises um, um, into San Juan. Um, a lot of the Caribbean um, itineraries online that, that you see online, they can start or finish in Puerto Rico. Um, but we also have a lot of um, a lot of passengers that will, as I mentioned, decide to do like a twin center with the US. Um, so yeah, there's a bit of everything. That's it, and we've got loads of we've got loads of uh, uh, connections across the eastern uh, seaboard with the US as well. Exactly. So from the UK, although mm -hmm. it's correct, there are plenty of seamless connections available to Berk. And of course, we've got loads of itineraries, right? We've got 10 exactly, different yes. right now with Virgin Voyages, uh, saying to a multitude of different destinations. And those itineraries are absolutely beautiful. So, you know, if you're flying to that part of the world and you've got clients that are really interested, don't just come for the cruise. Stay for a couple of days before and experience the culture on the island. Because as we've just seen for the last 40 minutes, it's beautiful, it's delicious, and also it looks like a right old hoot. So, yeah. Definitely, definitely worth uh, adding to that bucket list for your clients. Absolutely. Uh, Alicia, thank you. That looks lovely. I think it's a must do. Absolutely. It's definitely a must do. Um, Tracy, brilliant session. Thank you. Sharon, looks amazing. Again, you're getting a lot of love here, Melissa. Yeah, I know. Thank you so much, everyone. I feel like you have converted a lot of people to Puerto Rico. Yes. Everyone should, everyone should visit. <laughs> everyone good stuff excellent right well guys thank you so much for today thank you for joining uh vvs day three tune in to tomorrow because tomorrow we've got an incredible lineup of amazing sessions don't forget tomorrow we are going to be doing through the porthole uh which is effectively an expose and a look into our different cabins we're going to be hearing from jamie uh our onboard experience guru who's going to be sharing uh, all things onboard experience and hopefully revealing some some uh, some, some tea uh, on some upcoming uh, initiatives and then we've got sip and see so we've got a lovely little uh, curated cocktail session uh, with ben potts from our uh, partners over at unfiltered who will be taking us through some cocktail making so uh, oh, yeah. tickets should be on their way if they haven't arrived already they'll be on their way today and tomorrow lovely very exciting guys don't miss it thank Good you so stuff. much Sounds exciting thank you enjoy the rest of your day everybody thank you bye Bye.